I'm Casey, and this is Heather Sides, and we're here to talk about the destruction of families. We've been attending Lawton First Assembly for about a year, a little over a year, and when we first came here, we were broken as a family, and it all started, I grew up in church uh, here in Lawton. I, I, I attended church, had a great Christian family, had this words sewn on my heart at a young age. I went away for a long time uh, in college, through high school, wasn't doing what I needed to do and started veering away from, from that, what I was taught, what I was brought up in. Well, I was raised uh, in a broken home. I had two sets of parents and when me and Casey got married, I did not want my kid to ever be raised like that. We got married in June 2006 and I started using drugs pretty much right after that and in some form or another and before too long we had a uh, we were married had a kid but that the drug abuse and alcohol abuse and just kept going and going and we just started growing farther and farther apart and it was my doing I, Satan was out to destroy our family, and we were headed for a divorce. And I caught myself being crazy, trying to control him and stuff. I finally realized one night, laying in bed, I begged myself, please don't get up and don't go find him tonight. And um, I had all my friends telling me, just leave him, and everybody telling me, leave him. And I knew that Casey had something good in him that I wanted and I knew he was a good dad and Cash needed him and um, I needed him and so I just, um, I don't know, I just didn't want, I just knew that God could bring him back to me so I would pray, me and Cash would pray, he would ask me where's daddy and I would just tell him, baby he's gone to work and I would lie to my kid. I was moving in and out and didn't want to be there, wanted to be there. And the whole time she was believing that she was acting like Jesus because she saw something in me that, some good in me that I didn't know was there. And she refused to give up on me. But at the time when we started coming here, I was living actually in my truck in Oklahoma City, just living in my truck cleaning up in restrooms, uh, didn't even know where I was at, just sleeping in my truck, eating. I was homeless, and, and the whole time she was telling me to come home, come home, come home. And I had a four-year-old there, and, and I remember that October of 2010, I came here, and uh, I was in service here, and I just felt broken. And, and at that point on, God started to do a work in me, in my heart. And not too long after that, uh, I, de I decided to go to drug rehab. And the whole time, she just is still believing for me. And <laughs> standing on the word that, you know, I'm going to be a man of God. And so I, I, I attended drug rehab and we came back here in December. I came back here in December and we started coming here every Sunday. And he was just continued to, to do work in me and in us. And really the, the turning point in my life was when I started believing what the Bible says about me instead of what I felt. instead of what, what other people said. He's restored everything that I've ever lost and more. And now we have a new baby and with a godly dad and a godly family. We have two kids and just the best family. It's perfect. <laughs>